Hey, Syed here. I've been working on a new way to, to create Visual Studio project templates. Uh, I'm calling it Pecan Waffle. We'll probably integrate it into uh, Side Waffle itself at some point. Um, but in either case, I've got a, uh, an MVC web project here, and um, I'm calling it Contoso Web App. And um, I want to create a, uh, a template out of this that I'll share with the V6. Uh, so let me show you what that experience is. So the first thing I'm going to do is uh, file new project and create a uh, v6 project. You'll need the extensibility, pro extensibility tools installed in order to create these projects. All right, so v6 project, uh, just go ahead and give it a name here. Uh, template, it's fine. Okay, so that creates our uh, v6 uh, container project. And now we need to install the pecan waffle vs uh, nuget package. So I'll say install pecan dash waffle uh, dash vs and then um, dash pre here. Uh, that'll go ahead and install the uh, pecan waffle nuget package and uh, it'll update your build process. And uh, it actually drops a file into your project here uh, under property, so it's pecan waffle settings. Uh, there's just a couple items here that's interesting to you. Uh, one, this uh, value, the PW template zip railder, uh, dictates the node in Visual Studio that your templates will show up. Um, so I want this one to show up in the C Sharp Web Syed node. And then the PW template root, uh, this defines where the, uh, the folder for where your templates will be located. So it's the project folder uh, and up one inside templates. <laughs> So I'll go ahead and create this folder. All right, so uh, templates. All right, and now uh, what I'm going to do now is go ahead and copy out my uh, Contoso web app uh, into, this pro into this folder here. So let me open up this folder. All right, so we got that. So let me just grab uh, the Contoso web app and then paste it into templates. And then there's a, uh, the whole concept of Pecan Waffle is <clears throat> that you don't have to actually modify your uh, source projects. All you do is you just declare replacements and then give it some metadata. Uh, and I have some samples here. Uh, the two files that we need to add in is underscore project.vs template and then pw template info.ps1. So I'm just going to create uh, empty files here in the uh, file system, and then I'll uh, populate it. All right, so underscore project.vs template. Okay, and then uh, the next one is, oops, uh, pw template info.ps1. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and open these. Uh, files in Visual Studio. Alright, so we got that one and that one, okay. Alright, I'm just going to go ahead and grab the content from this uh, sample repository that I have. Uh, we'll probably make item templates uh, out of these at some point. Alright, so I'll paste that in and then I'll uh, describe these, uh, the content of these files here in just one second. Alright, so let me paste that one in. Uh, the VS template file, that's the file that contains the metadata that's shown inside Visual Studio. Um, so I'll call it Syed Sample, uh, description here, uh, default uh, project name, so let's say my web app. And then uh, you're going to want to create a new uh, template ID. You can do that with this uh, create GUID here. So I'll copy that and then make sure to uh, fix up the formatting of this guy. Okay. And then down here, um, the template name here is going to have to match whatever you put inside this PS1 file. Um, I'll just call it Syed Sample. And then extension ID also uh, needs to be updated. So this is the ID uh, for the extension that you're creating, which you can find in this uh, source manifest file. And uh, some of this stuff will actually hopefully be able to uh, automate most of this at some point. All right, so um, I've 
I've added a value Syed sample here for my template name. I've updated the extension ID, uh, and then I gave it a new name and description and default project name. So now I'm done with this. Um, I'm going to go ahead and copy uh, this value because I'm going to want to paste that here inside this file. All right, so this file uh, describes the template and uh, what happens uh, as the template's getting created. This value is ignored. Okay, so now comes the uh, section where we kind of declare the replacements. So now I'm going to go back to my Contoso web app and take a look at the code and figure out what do I want to replace. So the namespace, Contoso web app, this I want to uh, be replaced with whatever project name the user gives me. So Contoso web app will be replaced with project name. Uh, and then these parts will uh, create a new GUID. So every project has a unique ID. So let me unload this project, and then uh, we'll find out what that unique ID is so we can create a new one. OK, so here's the, uh, the GUID. So basically, I'll just take this one and then delete that and paste it. So wherever we see this GUID, we want to replace it with project ID uh, or create a new GUID, and only do that for files that end with .proj. And um, I can delete the rest of the uh, replacements from here. All right. So the comments here are just kind of help. Uh, they're not really needed uh, for this. And then, uh, so the files, I want to rename any file that's got the word uh, Contoso Web App and replace that with the project name as well. And then we have files that are excluded, folders that are excluded, and then just this uh, thing to register it. All right, so that's pretty much everything that we have. So now let me go ahead and um, I'm going to go ahead and build this, and then I'll show you what happens, and then I'll show you how to actually use this. So as it's being built, I'm going to open up the, uh, the bin folder for the template project itself. Let me make sure I'm on the right project here. Yep. All right, and then I'll show you guys what's happening here. So on debug, so if I open up this uh, v6 file, uh, these are just zip files, uh, I can see inside my output I have... Uh, the zip file that contains uh, the template uh, that we created with the VS template file and then uh, my templates here. So the, the content has Im been embedded into the v6 here. Alright, so let me go ahead and run this with control F5. That's going to load up a uh, experimental instance with this extension installed. And then if all goes well, we can do file new project and then pick up the Syed sample. Uh, and then we'll run it to make sure that it actually runs fine. And then when we're done with that, um, I'll show you how to create a multi-project template as well. Uh, you're basically going to follow the exact same process uh, with maybe a few uh, additional replacements. All right, so now I have my new instance of uh, Visual Studio loaded up here. This is the experimental instance, like I mentioned. So now I can do a new project, and then if I go into the, the web node, I see Syed sample here. I have a old one here from last time. All right, we can see that it's creating the web project now. Uh, it should be done in here just a few seconds. And then I'll go ahead and uh, I'll show you that the replacements were uh, invoked. And then I'll show you that we can actually run this project. Okay, so now the project has been created. I can open up the uh, startup.cs. I can see uh, the Contoso web app was replaced. Uh, if I was to unload this uh, project, I'd see that the, uh, the project ID was updated as well. I went ahead and did a control F5. We saw the NuGet packages were restored. Uh, and now it should go ahead and start running the application. So we'll see that it actually works. Okay, so our project's been created, uh, it runs fine. So now um, I promised you that I would show you how to create a multi-project template here. Uh, inside the, the samples uh, with Pecan Waffle, I already have uh, some templates uh, set up. <clears throat> so I'm just going to grab those and then uh, basically kind of recreate these. So I'm going to go into multi-project templates. Uh, this I think it's like eight projects here, three, six, eight projects. And then you can see I've got these two files. I'm just going to copy this uh, folder here. 
and then paste it into uh, my other templates folder. So template example, so templates. Uh, yeah, so I'll paste it here at this folder. And then I'll go ahead and open up the, uh, the two files that I just showed you as well. All right, so my multi-project, and then these are the two files that I'm interested in opening. Uh, so here you can see it's kind of uh, similar to what we saw before. Uh, it was actually the same uh, starting point content here. Um, and if I was to delete the uh, the comments here, let's see, see how many lines uh, we get this guy down to. So uh, after all the comments are deleted, we're looking at about you know 30 some odd lines here. Um, so basically, it'll go through and uh, create you. Uh, the project and it'll replace the word Contoso with whatever the project name is and then each ID for the projects will be updated. Alright, so now that I've done that I can just, uh, I'll actually do a clean and then I'll do a control F5 again. And then hopefully we should see the new template Contoso Zebra 2. And actually now that I change that I also need to change this one. Alright, so let's control F5 and then um, Hopefully we'll see that. And uh, I didn't do anything else to the uh, the sources for the eight projects there. I just kind of took it as it was. Uh, all I did was add the uh, the two files underscore project dot vs template and pw template info uh, dot ps one. All right. So now I'm going to do file new project. I can see now I've got this Contoso Zebra here. Go ahead and hit enter. Oh, not installed. Okay, yeah, right. Actually, you know what? That was my mistake because I didn't uh, update the uh, source manifest. So let me grab the ID and then uh, update that guy. All right, perfect. And actually, it would be good to update this template ID as well, but I'll skip that step this time. All right, so let's try it again. File new project. All right, so now it's creating the uh, the projects. There are actually eight projects here. Uh, so we'll go ahead and give it a few seconds here. The projects will get created, and then it will go ahead and load up into Solution Explorer, and then I'll show you that the replacements happened. Uh, and then go from there, pretty much. So the project name here is uh, Zebra47. You can see that I've done this a number of times, evidently. All right, so now my projects have been created. Let me uh, collapse all here. We can see I've got the eight projects here, and uh, there's references back and forth from these various different projects. They've all been updated. Uh, if I look at the code here, we can see namespaces have been updated as well. Uh, and if I was to build this, it should build as well after the NuGet packages are restored. That's it. So eight succeeded. All right. So that's it. This is a uh, pecan waffle. Uh, I'd love to hear your uh, feedback in the comments below or on the GitHub issues page. Thank you.